Welcome to our 51st devotional video of Lighthouse Kinship. Light dawns in the darkness for the upright. 2 Samuel 22:29 NIV. You, Lord, are my lamp. The Lord turns my darkness into light. Psalm 143:8 NIV. Let the morning bring me word of your unfailing love, for I have put my trust in you. Show me the way I should go, for to you I entrust my life. Today is Wednesday, March 9, 2022. Monica and I are here at the Lake Tobasoki Arrowhead Park, the Clovis Point Campground in Lizella, Georgia. Is darkness around every corner of your life and in every direction you turn? In Judges chapter 6, the Israelites were in complete darkness. The nation as a whole had allowed themselves to be influenced by the other nations that did not believe in God's divine existence. The consequences of the Israelites' sinful actions took them away from God's protection into the oppression of the Midianites. Judges 6, 1, Amplified Then the Israelites did evil in the sight of the Lord. And the Lord gave them into the hand of Midian for seven years. As a nation, Americans have elected leaders that have passed laws in the last 60 years that are in strong contrast against the Constitution of the United States of America, as well as God's statues. Because of these laws and ignoring God's statues, we have become a nation that is being oppressed just as Israel was in Judges chapter 6. Judges 6, 11, Amplified. Now the angel of the Lord came and sat under the terebinth tree at Ophrah, which belonged to Joash the Abizrite. And his son Gideon was beating wheat in the winepress instead of the threshing floor to hide it and save it from the Midianites. When a nation is in absolute corruption, does God listen to individual prayers? Does light dawn in the darkness for the upright? Judges 6, 12 to 14, NLT. The angel of the Lord appeared to him and said, Mighty hero, the Lord is with you. Sir, replied Gideon, if the Lord is with us, why has all this happened to us? And where are all the miracles our ancestors told us about? Didn't they say the Lord brought us up out of Egypt? But now the Lord has abandoned us and handed us over to the Midianites. Then the Lord turned to him and said, Go with the strength you have and rescue Israel from the Midianites. I am sending you. COVID-19, isolation, mandates, mask mandates, vaccine mandates, and now the unbelievable, outrageous gasoline prices. Is God seeing the oppression of the American people? What does God ask of us as a nation and individuals for him to protect, provide, and pilot our lives? For him to bless us or as a nation and individual to bless him? Matthew 22, 36 to 40, Amplified. Teacher, which is the greatest commandment in the law? And Jesus replied to him, you shall love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, and with all your mind. This is the first and greatest commandment. The second is like it. You shall love your neighbor as yourself. That is, unselfishly seek the best or higher good for others. The whole law and the writings of the prophets depend on these two commandments. This concludes our 50 first devotional video of White House Kinship. Light dawns in the darkness for the upright. Jeremiah 9, 23 to 24 NASB. This is what the Lord says, let no wise man boast of his wisdom, nor let the mighty man boast of his might, nor a rich man boast of his riches. But let the one who boasts boast of this, that he understands and knows me, that I am the Lord who exercises mercy justice and righteousness on the earth for I delight in these things declares the Lord for light to dawn in the darkness what does God require Micah 6 verse 8 NASB he has told you mortal one what is good and what does the Lord require of you 
but to do justice, to love kindness, and to walk humbly with your God. Monica and I thank you for traveling along with us here today at the Colomoke Mound State Park, Blakely, Georgia. Come along and journey with us by subscribing to our channel. Hit the little notification bell so you won't miss our next stop. And please give us a thumbs up and help us spread the gospel by sharing these videos on your social media platforms. 2 Timothy 4.2 TLB To preach the word of God urgently at all times, whenever you get the chance, in season and out when it is convenient and when it is not. And the verse goes on to say, encourage them to do right and all the time be feeding them with patiently with God's word. Thank you for leaving your comments below on how these devotions are helping you and also your prayer requests on how we can pray for you.